Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another lesson on geometric sequences. Today we're going to talk about sum to infinity. Uh, so before I explain what that means, let's just get some sequences drawn up. So um, let's say I have the first sequence is um, 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48. Okay, so to get to the next term, you would multiply by 2. Right, you keep multiplying by 2 to get to the next term. So, if we have a sequence like this, you can see that the terms are getting bigger and bigger. And if we add up all the terms, so let's say I want to add up the first four terms, it'll be 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24. And in comparison to that, the fifth term will add on another 48. And it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger. So if you want to calculate the sum of an infinite number of terms, so sum to infinity, it'll just be infinity, right? Or another word for that is undefined because it just gets so large that it'll just keep getting larger and larger to infinity. So um, that's basically the answer when it says sum to infinity for a sequence where the rate or the ratio between each term is bigger than 1. Okay, when it says times 2 or times 3 or times 1.1 even. If the ratio is bigger than 1, then this will be your answer when they want to find out what the sum to infinity is. Okay, but if we have another sequence where the ratio is between 0 and 1. Okay, so only between 0 and 1, not less than 0. Um, so let's say I have the sequence starting at 50. Okay, and let's make the ratio um, 0 0.5. So it'll be 50, 25, 12.5, uh, and so on. Um, whatever that is, 6.25. Okay, so you can see here the terms are getting smaller and smaller. And in this case, we can actually find the sum to infinity. Right, because um, as the numbers will get smaller and smaller, um, when we add up all the terms together to infinity it approaches a certain number and there's a formula that we can use to find the sum to infinity so let's let's um, bring back the formula for just the ordinary um, ser uh, series formula geometric series formula and that was S N is equal to A bracket R to the power of N minus 1 over R minus 1. Right, that was the formula we devised a few lessons ago. Okay, and if I want the sum to infinity, okay, what happens is that we substitute infinity for n and if you can see here what's happening is if I substitute in infinity where n is and I substitute in 50 for a and 0 0.5 for r Okay, I will get 50 bracket 0 0.5 to the power of infinity minus 1 over 
0 0.5 minus 1. Now, what is 0 0.5 to the power of infinity? Okay, so you can see here, if I have 0 0.5 to the power of 1 is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to the power of 2 is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, let's type in to the power of 10 in the calculator, 0 0.5 to the power of 10, you get 0 0.00097 right so the numbers will get smaller and smaller and closer and closer to 0 right so basically 0 0.5 to the power of infinity to the power of infinity you can roughly say it's very close to 0 so we can simply cross this out and change it to zero okay so therefore um, it's just 50 times negative 1 over negative 0 0.5 and the answer is simply 50 negative 50 divided by negative 0 0.5 which is a hundred Okay, so this is sort of the long way to do it because we needed to explain how to do it. But the short way to do it, now that you understand the concept, is just to use the sum to infinity formula, which is A divided by 1 minus R. Okay, a divided by 1 minus r. And where did this formula come from? Well, we pretty much just showed you guys earlier. So basically it comes from the idea that um, r to the power of n when n is infinity is 0. So it's a bracket 0 minus 1 over r minus 1. And 0 minus 1 is ne negative 1, so it's negative a divided by r minus 1. And then if you multiply both the top and the bottom of the fraction by negative 1, it becomes negative of negative a over negative r minus 1 because you are allowed to multiply both the top and the bottom by the same number. So we're multiplying both the top and the bottom by negative 1. So you will get positive a on the top and r plus 1 on the bottom. So that is the formula. That's where the formula comes from. Okay, so if we just use this formula then it all we can work it all out really quickly because we can simply substitute a as 50 and r as 0 0.5 so it's 50 over 0 0.5 which is a hundred so you can just use the formula from the beginning and that's what you guys are going to do for the following practice questions. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned something today. See you next time.